Okay, basic reciprocal function, we want to do a f of x, a f of x plus h, and a f of x plus h plus k. I'll use my name. So uh, a equals 4, h equals I'll use 5 for H. 5, H is 4, and K is 6 because i got to promote one. Okay. Um, then, basic reciprocal function is 1 over X. So A, F of X, is what? Well, it's 5 F of X which is 5 times 1 over x, which could be written 5 over x. Now we want to also sketch the graph. So I'm not going to go through all the details of shifting and all that stuff. But here's your basic reciprocal function. It has a graph that maybe looks something like this. So here's f of x. Five f of x would take every point and move it five times as far from the origin. And you should understand what I'm doing. So here's Five f of x. Yeah. <clears throat> Shouldn't it have been uh, a f of x minus h? That is a minus sign, isn't it? Okay. Well, we can do that. You say f of x plus h. Everything have to go to the left. That can happen. So it could be, right? Okay, well then, if y f of x minus 4 is 1 over x minus 4 is because x minus 4 has replaced x, so it's got to replace this x. Very simple idea. Got to get used to it and practice it. Okay, well, what does this do to the graph? It shifted to the right in four places. Every, pl every point moves four units to the right. Now we've talked about why. And you should theoretically know why, but whether you know why or not, you should know that that's what happens. So here is now the graph of 5f of x minus 4. And of course I haven't graphed it down here, but you do something similar, right? So I'm just going to do the first quadrant because we don't have all day. But you should know what to do with the other quadrant. If you don't, you're going to hand this in Thursday, and I'm going to find out. And then I'm going to try to give you some advice. Uh, okay. So, so then. Next is going to be 5 f of x minus 4 plus 6. What's that going to do? Thing, but yeah, I was going to take this one, which is just this, and add 6 to every y value, right? Well, it should be obvious that that's going to move it up 6 units. So that's going to move us up 6. This is going to move us up 6. And this point's going to move up 6, and we're going to have a graph that's up here. 
So here's 5f of x minus 4 plus 6. Now, it's not, I haven't done a great job of sketching it. The shape of this one is kind of different than the shape of these two, but they should have the same shape as these two, okay? And if you do it carefully, it will. And, of course, you do the same thing down here. You move every point twice as far or five times as far from the axis. It's going to be just the upside-down version of this, okay? Then you move it to the right, and you move it up. Okay.